All right, I've moved, uh, removed the uh, braid. I think I'm going to redo the hair just a little bit. I'm not really comfortable with the uh, hair. And the reason I did the hair the way I did with the uh, braid, one single braid, is because this was going to be cast in resin. And I had to take in, into account the problems that come with casting in resin and in a lot of other things. And so now I'm, I'm freed to pretty much do what I want to with the uh, hair. And so I think I'm going to change the hair a little bit. And I've only got a couple of days to do this in because tomorrow I've got to start working on something else that uh, is kind of like a uh, commission. And I need to get that done and uh, to the foundry. So tomorrow actually I'm going to the foundry. Because he's got this blanket wrapped around him, I'm just assuming that his hair would have been caught and uh, all the back hair would be underneath the blanket. And that's kind of makes an interesting design too, so that's what I'm doing right now. The reason I, I did was uncomfortable with the hairstyle before was it just looked I don't know, it just looked weird too too compressed too tight I didn't like that I'm kind of liking this now I just hope it works out. This is a Blackfoot style hair, hair or blood uh, hairstyle. And uh, Nez Perce style. It's a Northern uh, Plains Indian uh, style of hair. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, I somehow inadvertently deleted the video where I was working on this piece. Um, so I'm uh, just showing you what the end product was after a couple of hours work. Uh, I've uh, put the feathers on his head here. Uh, I'm going to do something to cover up the uh, ends of the feathers there. Um, that's as much as I'm going to get done today. Uh, and I apologize for losing the video of me working on this, but it probably didn't much much anyway. Uh, I'm going to uh, take this uh, down uh, right now, and because I need to get ready for uh, tomorrow, I'm running to Bozeman. I've got to pick up the bust uh, or part of the wax casting of a piece called uh, "Ain't No Cowboy." It's a uh, cowgirl that I had done. Uh, a gentleman wants a uh, face of somebody he knows uh, in place of the face that's on it now. And I'll show you the piece here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-sculpt that in wax, in the wax stage, and then I'm just going to go straight to shell uh, with the uh, wax. Um, they pay extra for me to do something like that. And every once in a while you get a request uh, like that. And you, you, if it doesn't destroy the piece, um, I sort of go along with the idea. All right, I'm going to call it a quits for today because I've got to... Uh, Get some other stuff done. Uh, I'm trying to get my van cleaned out to, so I can arrange everything in my van for the trip next week. And then I've got to go to Bozeman, like I said, tomorrow. And so it's, that day is going to be shot. So I'll be back to work uh, on uh, Saturday and Sunday on the wax. Uh, I hope to get it done on Saturday, but I, if it takes two days, it'll take two days. And then I get back on this and work on her, him and her because I did drop these off the table. Uh, and I've, I'm having to re, uh, redo parts of it, and uh, I'm reevaluating uh, parts of it too to make it even better looking and, and more sellable in bronze. All right, that's it for today. Have a great night.